Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Until Dawn. Today, we're, uh, we're moving forward. And I looked it up, apparently you just gotta quit the game and it saves. Which is fine. Um, hopefully what I read was true and when I shut down this game from the recording session, I don't lose everything. That would suck. Uh, look for a glint. Yeah, I know. We already have that tutorial. There's a note there. Okay. Hi. The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? Chris. <sighs> Damn it. Wait, what's this? Uh, from Josh Washington. Uh, directions, Vancouver Central. You guys in... Are you guys in Canada? Leave at 1715. Change at Terminus. Okay. Yo, how do I get there? <laughs> Wait, what? What was that? Ask drive to stop at Blackwood Pines, although I see won't. Okay. So I gotta climb over here. Alright. Can I just, like, kick the gate in? I feel like I should just kick the gate in. Oh, Jesus. Never mind. Okay, sure. I mean, I would just probably shoulder tackle it and hurt myself, but give it a shot, because I don't want to climb over there. Yeah, I do the safe way. What are you, insane? Oh, did not expect QD there. Uh, climb, you madman. And next, what, you want to do, like, a front flip over? You gonna ask me that? Probably would have, like, held on and dropped a little bit, but sure. Nothing. What's that up there? There are lanterns? How do they get electricity out here? I see no wiring. It's on the ground, Kronos. It's a chipmunk, or a red squirrel, actually. You hungry? Huh? Ah, damn it. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. I didn't know they didn't want me to move yet, so I, like, I moved. <laughs> <laughs> So you just carry around nuts in your pocket? Oh, sorry. I thought it was asking me to press R1. If you're unsure what to do next, you can see the current objective. Alright. What is the current objective? Head to the cable car station. Alright, that's good. That's a good objective. Yeah, when I... I was... I don't know why. It's like, don't move. So I, like, moved my arm up and my hand... My controls in my hand, obviously. So, oh, that was bad. Hopefully that's not gonna happen during, uh... Important scenes. What are we looking at here? <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. Uh, the color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black, uh, death, black butterflies uh, pro prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold the tragedy, a, a tragedy, a tragedy affecting friends. Oh, I gotta use the directional pad. Uh, guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies fought, uh, brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Uh, as you explore, you can pick up totem artifacts. Picking up a totem, art a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Oh, I like your fingernails. This is yellow, right? That's good fortune. Uh, if the future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecies come true depends on the choices you make. So they're... Hints? Maybe? Probably stay away from the woods. In case something reaches out and grabs us. 
Is that a backpack? Probably check, take a look at that Chris? in a second. You here? I should probably check that backpack then. Seeing how she started talking when we went down there. Ooh, what's this? Recycling? How audacious. Bags here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? That would be cramped. Hello, what do we have here? There's a cell phone. Snoop clothes bag. Oh, close the bag. We don't need the Snoop. Sam, hey, you made it. Uh, Chris, has a crush on Ashley. That's what you're known for? Dog. That sucks. <laughs> oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Okay. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Uh, sure. Hey, do you know anyone snooping around in the forest, breathing heavily? Kind of thought it was going to be one of you idiots, but, uh... I mean, I guess it still could be one of you idiots. Ta -da. What? Pretty rad, right? What? Yeah! Come on! What yeah, well, yeah, what? What is it? Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range oh. doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? No, I haven't. Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Is that the dude got it, that got eaten God, by God, bears? Ahead, oh, no, wait, that's actually the dude right. that lived. Here goes. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. It's like this. Good shot. What's this? Okay. Easy. Wow, nice shooting, Ted. Thanks. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Uh, sure. <laughs> well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, well... I can get the, the like, the one in the back. You're not gonna make me shoot the squirrel, are you? God, no! What the hell's wrong with you? Why would I shoot that poor squirrel? Shot. Thank you. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Butterfly. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Alright. Sure. Butterfly effect update. I don't know what that means, but sure. I'm playing as Chris now? Okay. I'm assuming I couldn't have gotten anyone killed yet, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah. Uh, Victor Milligan. Okay. Uh, Victor uh, Milgram, Victor Smale, six two. Think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted. Uh, wanted to can shut up! I'm trying to read this. Oh come on! This place is abandoned most of the year. When he comes up here. Wanted a connection with the first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact a BDMC. What? As soon as possible. What police station is that? Oh, Blackwood Provincial Mounted. Yeah, I got it. Oh, it says it right there, too. I don't know how it keeps it all together. I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just going to have to keep an eye on him. Oh, Josh? So much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Well, yeah, I guess. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah, uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. That is creepy. 
But also sad if they're homeless. For you. A oh, real gentleman. <laughs> Enter the creepy place by yourself, please. What are you looking at? Oh, yeah. Are we waiting for that? I thought the car was closer. Well, I'm gonna go in here and fuck with wait. some stuff. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Forever. It's a big mountain. Okay, for health and healthy body of mine. Sure. How do I get out of here? That was not. Oh, I should check out your stats too. How do I get out of here? No matter how rich you are. Back. Thank you. Family bottom mountain. That is pretty impressive. Let's see, relationship status. Uh, Ashley's high, Emily's low, Jess is low, Josh is high, uh, and Matt's low, Mike's the same as Emily. Sam's up there. Uh, not very brave. Apparently he's funny. I would beg to differ. Charitable's good, honest, romantic a little bit, and curious. I like how you're known for having a crush on Ashley. That's your defining feature. Is that a hot tub? Huh? What are we looking at? Nothing? Alright. Sounds good to me. Nothing here? Alright, did it sound like the cable car is here? Is that is that accurate? Finally, you coming? No, I'm gonna stay here. I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but shit, we have the same sense of humor. Enter the car. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. I would not want to be on this thing. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Are we? Thanks, bro, good talk. <laughs> that was you awkward. Let's just. <laughs> Let's stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. Shocker. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Cool. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? Poor Jeannie you Simmons. be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Like Jeannie Simmons. Boom. Butterfly effect. Who's this? Jess, Mike's news girlfriend. Confident, trusting, ir 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 irreverent. Yeah, there we go. That's how we talk. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So you weren't here last year? And you know your your boyfriend Mike is a piece of shit, right? Just that. Uh, just throwing that out there. What is this? It's a stutter step, apparently. Oh, what the hell? Fudge. Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? 
So were you here before? Because if you're dating him after oh, everything that went on over my, there, you you dumb. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. So he thick. Down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, explain. I'm with Mike. Yeah, just explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lobby. So I like Sam. I'm tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean. Th that's not yeah. odd if he's your boyfriend. Uh huh. Sam. <sighs> Did you see this view? Yeah, it's. I mean, holy cow. Yeah, that's very it's good view. Where the hell are you guys? Stop and take it all in. Ooh, God of War. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Uh, Mike's ex. Okay. Intelligent, resourceful, pers persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Emily's new boyfriend, Matt. Uh, motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Apparently, I'm the bellboy. Look, 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 look at your stats here. So, Emily and Jess are at the same level, Ashley's lower, you seem to hate Josh and Mike, and Chris, and you just like the girls? That's okay. You're not funny, you're not brave, you're honest, charitable, romantic, and curious. And you like carrying bags. <sighs> getting chills. Well, it is snowing out. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Good. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Oh, oh my Jesus. fucking god! <laughs> Emily's ex. Intelligent, debatable, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Well, last time we were here, well, two people died. It's spooky. Because of your yeah, actions. Let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, threaten, welcome. We're all friends here. I uh, mean... Oh, fuck it, threaten him. I don't like him. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. Oh, I didn't know we were going there. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we can move past all this. Be buds, but... Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. I highly doubt Thanks. that. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know. Thank that. you, but I don't like you either. <laughs> oh, Actually, so what? as it is right now. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Wow! I really need to go find. Are you actually gonna go and talk to Mike before we get all the way up there? This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt. Please. Uh, you know what? I'm not leaving you alone. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out. Yeah, I have a flashlight probably. Here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's uh, yeah, I mean. Why actually. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. 
I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Leave the stuff there! Matt, Fine. you leave that shit Anyone. there! Thank you. Take your bag I'll and leave her shit! Find Sam. See you in a bit. Leave that sh- Merch! Oh. Yeah, so I don't like Emily and Mike, and everyone else that took part of that prank is, uh, pretty low on the totem pole. Who are you, Ashley? Hi, has a crush on Chris. Wait, what? So you both have a crush on each other? Just, just date. Academic, inquisitive, fourth, forthright. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, that's, that's nauseating. Oh, is that Jess? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Right. I, I knew it. Shit bags stick together. Oh, oh my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? Some oh, hey, you should look through uh, that. It, Let me check it out. It, yeah, you know what? Go for it. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Give nothing in to your hatred. Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it! Break up with her. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Dance puppets. Jessica, upper cable car. Check phone. Read book. Check. Ah, read the book. What the hell is. Oh my god. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have supple. to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, God, uh, God. Grab snowball! I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> and right in the oh. dick, please. Oh, I got him in the head. Hopefully, there's a rock in it. Hey. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh, ah! Hey! Oh, snap! Nice dodge. Bird, leave. <laughs> Hello. Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Boom! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you just, was that a rock? Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm gonna hit the bird. Are you insane? Oh, headshot. Whoa! Oh. Right. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, by the way, he was just hugging his ex-girlfriend. Going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Mmm. Good one. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? 
your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that has a few meanings to it. Dirty. Yeah. My lady. <laughs> I'll kiss him. He's still a piece of shit. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Well, it'd be very cold to take off any clothes here. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Uh, status update. What's this? Who's that? So someone. Oh shit! <laughs> Hi. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Uh, confused as why I came back to you. Did you change your office? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious your mouth your mouth makes me the most anxious dog like like horribly anxious there's something wrong with it men worry me women worry me well, fine. none also that face on that woman <laughs> this is a little weird uh neither worry me but i guess i can't choose well that where's the coin of gender choosing there it is all right we got Heads female and tails men. Oh, let's go over here. Apparently women worry me. Like that. Alright, there, 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 there you go. Uh plane scare me, crowd scare me. I used to be pretty afraid of crowds, to going in the crowds. Not anymore though. I fear heights, I fear drowning. Well, I fear both of these, to be quite honest, but um, I think my... I, I'm a pretty good swimmer, so I guess heights, if I was standing on that ledge, that would not be fun! Oh, I, I, I like all these. I, but I... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd be a little bit more frightened if I, like, Walked into the house and there was a snake there, like a rattlesnake. That'd probably be like, what the fuck, are my cats okay? Stuff like that. No, not the mice. I, don't really... I still don't want mice in the house, but still, I'd be like less like worried about it. I'd be like more like, oh shit, I need to take care of this problem. Guns are scary. Knives are scary. I... In the wrong hands? They're all scary. Guess gun? Uh, steak scene. I do. I've never seen a cockroach. Well, no, that's not true. I've seen them in like zoos and dead ones at like stores. So, but I do not want to ever find a cockroach in my house. I don't want to find a, a rattlesnake in my house either. But that's way less likely to happen. Oh, oh my God! Pennywise, Joker. We're going to go with the clown, though, because that thing's horrifying looking. What the hell is that? It's, oh, it's like heart and organs? Who the hell would look at this? Unless they have a phobia, I guess. Be like, oh, wow, a pile of organs and a crow. Which ones scare me uh, or disgust me? I'm going to go with the gore. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Can I see your PhD, please? Don't be nervous. What the fuck is wrong with you? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, well, don't slam the decks next time. 
Ah, it's cockroach. Yeah. I don't, I don't like cockroaches. I'm not afraid of them. I just don't want to ever see them. <laughs> Guess organs. Fine with taking shots. Yeah, yeah, definitely the clown still. The clown is horrifying. Uh, organs. Organs. Yeah. Oh, I love thunderstorms. Dog hates him, though. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> oh, my God, please. Cockroaches, clowns, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. If I run into a cockroach clown, I'm going to flip my shit. Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I don't want to come back here. I don't think you're helping me. This is a new office. Your painting's gone. I like your chair, though. Previously on Until Dawn. That's oh, really messed me. up. Hannah! You didn't deserve that. What's going on? Just tell her to stop hitting on you. Just a prank, hand. Just a shank prank, bro. No! <laughs> oh, good lord. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with you each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for Sam you could have stopped it though so you're not up there I'm on like with innocent man. list Son of a bitch. I think Chris was drunk with Josh so he's he's fine he's a little Dang, awkward though Josh. that's how we met boom butterfly effect what boom boom tough acting and acting man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it oh yeah Feels the same to me. Oh, hi, Josh. Uh, complex, thoughtful, loving. Also seems to maybe have something wrong with the muscles in his face. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but no. It's so good to see you. What's up with him? What's up with you, Matt? You jealous? Good. Give in to the hatred, Jet, Matt. What's that, Jess? But she's not here right now, I think. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Uh, gossip, Matt and Emily. You doing all right, dog? Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know, like we always used to. Okay. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are Sh shoulder right tackle. In, just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like. Get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? Yeah. I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. Uh, confident. Grow backbone. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Oh. Is that... Is that what we call flirting these days? Huh. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, on the end of my video, so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.